Hey guys, Techie here from Techie Farm Boy, and today I'm going to be cooking some churros. Before they became a staple of American carnivals and such, historians theorize that they were perfected by Spain after Chinese baking techniques were brought to Europe by the Portuguese from China during the Ming Dynasty. Other theories include Spanish shepherds being too lazy when cooking their bread, among other things. I don't actually have kosher salt, so I'm going to be using ionized salt. If you have the same problem and you need to compromise, then there will be a little link up in the top right hand corner up, up here somewhere that should have a conversion chart of how many tablespoons or teaspoons or whatever you need to put in for ionized salt to equal kosher salt. We're going to start off with cinnamon sugar. So you'll want two cups of granulated sugar and four tablespoons of ground cinnamon. Put them both in a cup or bowl or whatever and mix it until it's blended thoroughly. Pour it out into a bowl and we might have leftovers so you'll want to keep a bag on hand just in case to put it in. Now it's time for the churros. You'll need 1 cup of water, 6 tablespoons of butter, 2 tablespoons of granulated sugar, 1 teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, 1 cup of all-purpose flour, 1 teaspoon of kosher salt, 2 large eggs, some vegetable oil for frying, and cinnamon sugar, which we made earlier. Set your oven to medium, or whatever that is equivalent to for your specific oven. Put a saucepan on and throw in one cup of water, six tablespoons of butter, and two tablespoons of sugar. Here, I put them in before I put the pan on the stove, but it depends on your preference. Bring it to a boil, then add one teaspoon of vanilla, then turn off the heat and throw in the one cup of flour and one teaspoon of salt. Stir it with a spoon for 30 seconds or until it's thick. Let it cool for about 10 minutes, which is more than enough time to watch my other content. Once we're done waiting, you're going to want to go ahead and mix two eggs into the mixture, making sure to beat them until they've merged with the mixture. Then once you're done with that, throw the mix into either a dedicated piping bag or Ziploc baggie with a hole cut into it. By the way, if you're doing the Ziploc bag, wait until further into the video before cutting the hole. I learned this the hard way. Alright, now we're going to start boiling stuff, so be careful around this. If you don't own a fryer, just go to the local KFC or something. I'm sure they'll be more than happy enough to fry it for you. Using a large pot, again on medium heat over the stove, pour oil up to the midpoint of the pot. Heat it up to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, because in Celsius, that would be hotter than the melting point for the pot, probably. Now is when you'll need that piping bag from earlier. This is the part you want to be very careful with. I don't want to get sued because of some dude shoving his fingers into the fryer and getting 4th degree burns. Hold the bag over the pot and pipe out 3 or 4 churros into 6 inch long ropes using scissors making sure you land in the pot. I did not follow these directions unfortunately and I ended up with little churro bits which were good on their own but you want the long churros. Try not to let any oil splash on you, because that would hurt. Fry them until they're golden, or for about 4-5 to five minutes, depending on your time zone and perception of time itself. Repeat this process until you have no more churro mix, or until you have enough churros. The oil needs to always stay at 375 degrees, so if you have a dedicated air fryer or fryer, use that instead of a pot. When you remove the churros from their oily bath, make sure to grip them using either a slotted spoon or tongs so that oil doesn't leave the pot. Once they're out, immediately roll the churro in the cinnamon sugar from earlier and then place them on a cooling rack with something to catch the dripping oil. For the chocolate dipping sauce, you'll need 3 fourths of a cup of dark chocolate chips, 3 fourths of a cup of heavy whipping cream, 1 teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and 1 fourth of a teaspoon of kosher salt. Put your 3 fourths of a cup of chocolate chips in a medium sized heat proof bowl. They're gonna just chill out while you put your 3 fourths cup of heavy whipping cream into a small saucepan on medium heat, bringing it to simmer. Pour the cream on the chips and let it sit for about 2 minutes. Add the 1 teaspoon of ground cinnamon and 1 fourth teaspoon of salt and whisk it until it's fully combined. There you go. 
homemade churros. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all of that. And I hope you enjoy your churros that you made yourself with the churro mix uh, that you made yourself. And cinnamon mix and chocolate mix or whatever. Have, have a good day.